We are back again with the latest Cobor product from the Wonder Series, the W100. And just like the name says, this is a 100 watt COB light. Cobor did send this product to me for free, but all my thoughts are my own and I'm not being affected by Cobor in any way. The clever viewer would say that looks very similar to the Shun Molus X100. And yes, that is completely correct. It has the same design outline and it is also super compact. So is this one just a ripoff of Shun's innovative light? I would say no. So let's go back in time and think about how COB lights looked like. Every one of them was a squared box with a LED chip on the front and with a bones mount as well. Is this compact shape just the new industry standard? Yes, I believe so. The technology has changed and now we can make similar and merry compact COB lights more than ever before. And talking about that, the design is very slim and it's cool and it's built with a light plastic material, which unfortunately also for me makes it a little bit cheap. And I wish it had a metal construction to up its value. But then again, I think it was made to reduce the production price and thereby also reduce the sales price of this light. If we're looking at the one from Shun, it's actually also made from plastic, but it feels a little bit more rigid and a little bit harder plastic. This also weighs a little bit more than this one. That could be the difference. And when talking about the sales price, the Cobor W100 costs 177 euros on Amazon compared to Shun X100 at 304 euros without accessories. If you want this light from Shun with the battery grip, the carrying case and the bones mount, you're looking at 430 euros. So the one for Cobor is a cheaper alternative and it gives the exact same amount of light output when we're talking about what. The Cobor W100 comes with a reflector with a rubber diffuser and a DC wall power adapter. The light has a side grip that reminds a little bit of a camera grip and it is made from this brown leather look alike material with the Cobor brand name imprinted. And I think this one looks super cool and it also feels very good in your hand. The light has a weight of 345 grams and the size can be compared against my iPhone 15 Pro. This is really tiny. The color temperature goes from 2700 to 6500 Kelvin. And I know there is a RGB version of this light as well. The COB has a large diameter of 31 with a protective optical glass that diffuses and also spreads the light into a uniform beam. I like that all the buttons here, they are dedicated to each function so you don't have to switch around and waste your time back and forth in the menu to try to find the brightness and now set it over to the color temperature mode and so on. One button is for the brightness and another one is for the color temperature. That is nice for me. The buttons itself feels fine, it's nothing over the top. For powering the light, there are two options. They included DC wall power or use an external battery with the USB type C connection. The DC power adapter has a wire right here to the, the power adapter itself, which allows you to hang it directly on your light stand, for example. And this feature I am using all the time. It's super neat. Normally I just use these, but this is much better. There are no built-in batteries in this light, but it has been prepared with a connection down here to the bottom, a connection point for a later released battery grip. We don't know much yet, but I think it will be connected right here and also work similar to the one from uh, Shuen. The light can be controlled with the Cobol remote control using 2.4 gigahertz signal or the application Cobol Studio to connect to the light with the application, Cobor introduced actually a new and unique feature with NFC tags. NFC technology is a near field connection, which you also have in, for example, your credit card or your key tag for work to enter the doors. Simply 
hold your phone up against this brown leather surface here and it will connect and launch the Cobra application right away. And if it's the first time you're using the light, you actually need to connect it manually via Bluetooth connection and then go in and activate the NFC function within the settings of this light. And to connect via NFC, just press the connection button you have up here until the, uh, the icon app is visible on the screen. Hold it down for a few seconds or two and then you are entering the pairing mode. You can see something blinking. And now you can open the application on your smartphone and then click add fixture. And after that, click new fixtures by NFC. Hold the phone right here near the leather Cobol logo, actually right here. And then everything will be connected. In general, these lights will get pretty hot during use if it weren't for the fan that we have within these lights. Inside the application, you can change the fan settings between three modes, the performance mode, the quiet mode, and also the smart mode. And I have experience when using a low light output, the smart mode is actually generating less noise than the quiet mode. So I would just stick to that. I am very pleased that I now have a 100 light from Cobra in my collection. So I can control multiple lights with the same and only one application. This is great because I have lots of the 60 watt lights, but they are not always powerful enough for clients use. So I have the 220 watt light, but I only have one. This will be very good to have additional light, either for backlighting or extra side lighting or just in general give more light to a room. I'm very happy. For now, Cobor has released the following accessories. A power handle with a built-in battery to power all these smaller lights, the CP30, a small 30 cm softbox, and the 25 cm lantern. At the end, let's talk about some of the cons with this light. There are always cons, so let me just bring some of them from me to you. For me, the build quality feels less solid than the one from Shuren. I have mentioned that, but I think it's okay. I don't know what will happen if I drop it, so I will not do that. The light comes in a cardboard box with foam. And I wish that we had a dedicated carrying case that I can use between to transport between shoots. I really like that I have all my other Cobol lights in bags and I can both store them when not in use in the studio or I can bring them to clients and all the kinds of shoots that I have. So this will go, but uh, it's not really professional to bring this one to a shoot. For me, the protective cover was a bit hard to remove before use, but I think this might be a production tolerance that needs to be adjusted. It was, it's fine to put in, but it's really hard to pull out again. And when talking about the mount, Cobor confirms that they have not yet released their adapter from this mount to a bones mount yet, but it is on the way. And I am really looking forward to this adapter because at the moment I cannot use this light to its full potential together with all my other softboxes and modifiers. And that is a really big con for me right now because I am really using my modifiers when I am on a shoot also with a soft box in front, this would be great. And at the end, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. If you like this video, please consider subscribe or hitting the like button below. If you have any comments about this light, please post them below and I will be happy to answer them. And I think that was it. I will see you in the future.